be the best plan. Oh, the side there. Oh, okay. I'm alright. Say anything. No. Uh, no, no. No Mark and Donna. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. That's gotta be earlier than Griswold. Thank you very much. I don't know what that is. It's probably worth ten bucks to cast iron people, but I don't know enough to really buy it. Probably make well, a mistake by not grabbing that. Mm -hmm. All right, what else did I miss over here? Mm -hmm. I like skates, whole box of them. Don't need them. Right 
Packed up. I spent three dollars. Big whoopie do. <laughs> yeah, three bucks at a ramen show. Can you believe it? That's what I got. It's kind of heavy for three bucks. I got this one quilt, but it's new. I got some really nice sweaters in here also. That's nice. Okay, so I left the rummage sale. I did uh, stop by the house. I also stopped by the warehouse, and I uh, loaded up the back of my Jeep with. All sorts of donations, picture frames, glassware, stuff I didn't think I should throw away because I thought it was a good thing for a thrift store to sell for a dollar, two dollars, but I just can't sell it. Um, so we're here. We're here at the thrift. Let's see if we find anything inside. Never know. Their sign says, they have new signs out front. It says, it says everything's sellable. only took me about 20 minutes to find the same tag which is right here there's one listed for 110 the uh, the tags were all a little bit different I finally found one that matched it so I was trying to find the age on it but I think for nine dollars I don't I don't think I'm gonna get a hundred something for it because this is kind of small let's see how this looks all right is that torn or is it no, that's good, I think. Good thing I looked over it. We have a huge hole here in this side. And it's, I'm not going to say it's ripping, but it's kind of dry rotted a little bit. So that is not going to work. Sorry, Abercrombie and Fitch are going back. This is still here when I walk around and when I get it. I don't know, it looks really cool. It's only a dollar ninety one. You know, a bunch of them. These look like they're like samples. They're supposed to go on these platforms. See how this one goes on that? But that one's by itself. Made in the Philippines. All right, so I got myself a vintage baseball bat, actually a softball bat, and I did buy this for $1.91. Got suckered into buying it. This ain't gonna fit over here, maybe it will. Yeah, well, this is nice, I like this. I'm gonna take off the, the cushion because I think it deteriorates the value. I don't know what kind of bugs I just put in my vehicle. The, uh, the softball bat's a good one. They put out like seven or eight. And one of the other guys who's always here yeah, I know him. He's, he's everywhere. He was actually at the rummage sale this morning. Um, he kind of got first dibs, but he was doing a one by one and he left that one. So I grabbed it. It's about a hundred dollar bat. I think it was seven bucks. Uh, the, the baseball version of that bat, if you get the adult size, like I looked them up, there was, I think, a couple on there that were sealed because they used to come in plastic. That sold for, I think, $1,200 for a baseball bat. Is that insane or what? I think it is. Okay, so I made it back. Um, 
cool piece there. Uh, I know I didn't get to look at the other softball bats, but that's a that's a good one right there. I did uh did find some things at the uh, the rummage sale, so we got a nice quilt here. This is modern, so if you're looking at this, like, man, it's a nice antique quilt. It's uh, it's not, it's, it's new. Um, I did get a handful of other things. Nothing really too crazy at the rummage sale. Some silver plate. That I have to test. That's why it's there. I think I yeah I found it in the trash last week. Um, and I got a bunch of sweaters. Oh, maybe some other things. I don't know if any of these are Dale of Norway. This thing looks like it has tags on it. Oh, it's Abercrombie. Well. The big sweater Abercrombie. Alright, well, I might have to look that one up. I thought these were just sweater sweaters. Just things that my mom repurposes. That's another Abercrombie. Made in Hong Kong. So I don't think these are that old. Are they all? They're probably all Abercrombie. Probably came from the same person. Nope. Old Glory. Alright. Some sweaters. Uh, I got this. I think this is a little jewelry box. Really nice. It's got some serious uh, weight to it. Uh, it's made in Japan. It's marked Japan on the bottom. So I assume since it's marked Japan, it's probably made in Japan. But that will go into most likely my Lambertville pile. Uh, my total bill, like I said, was $3 there. I spent more on my baseball bat or the softball bat that I got at uh, the thrift store. And I thought this was just a nice little jug kind of thing. Someone did make it. It's marked on the bomb, 1994. So I don't know if they just painted it and then wrote that or they actually made the jug. Kind of sad to spend all the time making that and whatever else it might be and then just sold it for 50 cents at a rummage sale. But it's a rummage sale. You know, the person probably didn't want it, so that's why it's at the rummage sale. Um, but it's been a fun day. Thanks for tagging along. Hopefully everyone's going to enjoy the week. It's, uh, it's beautiful weather out right now. I know I have to do some major lawn care. Um, I also have to do a lot of eBay listings and uh, probably go to flea market in a day or two. So there's a lot going on right now. It's a busy time of the year, unfortunately, but yeah, still going to keep chugging along. It's been fun. Hopefully you guys and everyone enjoyed the, the treasure hunt. Thanks for tagging along. If you guys enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts just like this, more rummage sales, yard sales, estate sales, auctions, and more fun. Uh, and I'll catch you guys next time. Next adventure. Who knows what we'll get into. It'll be something fun. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.